What's good, everybody? It's your boy Goat back with another video. Let's get right into it. Hey, man, Los Angeles Lakers uh, showed out tonight uh, big time. They played hard, not only offensively, but defensively. They played hard. Uh, we did lose uh, Wes Matthews in this game. Uh, everybody played uh, very well. Uh, this was a must needed. This was, this this was a must win because this win right here it keeps us in the uh, fourth spot. And uh, because the team below us are starting to get Portland's on a winning streak, so is Denver. So that's why this win is very big. I'm gonna let my boy and Dan, like a fan, get in here. Hold on. What a game! What a game by the Lakers. We completely end to end outclass the Sacramento Queens, uh, one fifteen to ninety four. Shut up. And that's a fact. We definitely, definitely outclassed the Sacramento Queens. Not Kings, Queens. The Coos for the 30-piece nugget. I'm not impressed. I know he can do it. I've been telling y'all, man. I mean, it was an impressive game. Don't get me wrong. But what I've been telling you about my boy Coos, anytime he has an opportunity, the man shows out. So, shout out to Coos for the 30-piece nugget. And let's not forget about Dennis. He was phenomenal. Kyle Kuzma had a big 30 points. 30 points for Kyle Kuzma. Shout out to Kyle Kuzma for balling out tonight. That 30 points was well needed by, from Kyle Kuzma. Tonight, I called him out. He came out and balled, man. 17 points, 8 assists, 4 steals. And he... Dennis Stoder, 17 points. 17 points, 17 points, 8 assists, and 4 steals for Dennis Stoder. He turned down the contract, but he's playing hard. Proud of you. He did a phenomenal job. The whole team did a phenomenal job on De'Aaron Fox, man. Absolutely. My man De'Aaron was killing. And we held him to 12 points. We held De'Aaron Fox to 12 points. That's very impressive by the defense. Phenomenal. Defense wins championships. Remember that, Laker Nation. 14 for Marquise. We shot lights out. Marquise uh, Morris has been balling out the last couple of games. Uh, Marquise with uh, 12, 14 points. Uh, all the points are big. Uh, the guys playing well on both sides of the basketball, and that's what we need from our guys to everybody to step up. Uh, Matthews is hurt. Hopefully, he's not out too long. But uh, everybody got to keep playing big for this team. Contavious Caldwell Pope actually came back from the dead tonight. He chipped in with 13. That KCP with 13 points. That's great because the last couple of games, KCP was nowhere to be found. But I'm glad KCP woke. I'm glad KCP drunk some coffee or had some Gatorade and came with came with some game instead of some lane. Shout out to uh, KCP. Huge man. Shout out KCP. And what about them posted dunks, man? What about my boy Caruso Cotabody? THT, the traded one, the one that. And that's big facts. The whole team was catching bodies. From Caruso to Kuzma to, to Montrez. I mean, it, was, it was impressive. The ignorant fans wanted to give away. He looked super solid tonight with 15-piece nugget. And he caught a body. Caruso with 15 points. That's impressive. Because he ain't done that the last couple of games. Sick-ass body. He caught one, man. He said, where the Kuz haters at? Kate, uh, 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 Alex Caruso caught a body yesterday. He he, he dunked on uh, Antetokounmpo. Now, where they at, bro? I don't see him. I definitely don't see him. Y'all see the jersey, right? I wore the jersey tonight, and he went off. That's facts. Where the Kyle Kuzma haters at? Everybody said that uh, Kyle Kuzma can't ball and all this and that. He Kyle Kuzma is a Kyle Kuzma can ball. He's just inconsistent. That's all it is. Uh, Kyle Kuzma is no scrub. He's got to learn how to be more consistent with this game. That's all it is with him. Y'all see the jersey, man. It's, we've been here. Kyle Kuzma, man, we've been here. There's a reason why I've been a fan. This kid is an X Factor. Luke Walton, he's a JV coach. I don't know. How to beat the Clippers when we play like this. But hopefully we save some because, man, nothing would make me happier than to beat that team. But I'm going to save that for the pregame on Sunday, man. Let's get back to this game. Uh, the sh uh, did you on the step? He said, did you on the stat line when KCP is scoring 12 plus, they're 25 and 6? Yes. Yeah, I did see that, Steven. Um, this is why I've been clapped. And, that, and that's big facts. Whenever whenever KCP scores 12, 13 points, we're 25, we're 25 and 6 when KCP scores 12 or more points. 
and that's a and that and that, and that just proves it. we need KCP to score twelve more points because we're twenty five and six when he does that. Starting for some production from the shooting guard position, he gave us thirteen tonight. And look, Dub. And by the way, he played great tonight. He played great. Everybody did, to be honest with you. Nobody really had um, any bad game, per se. You know, I, I'm proud of the whole team. They came out here on the road and took care of business before we go up against the... And this win is very impressive uh, for the fact that last time we played Sacramento, uh, we had King James. And whenever we had, whenever we had King James on the court, uh, Sacramento beat us the last time. And so for us to win without King James, you're Sacramento, that's impressive. So, um, impressive. Again, the stat line, super impressive. Kuz, man, he shot lights out. He was 11 for 18, 30 points. All right, my man had five rebounds, three assists, killed it. Marquise Morris with his 14 and eight rebounds, shot lights out as well. Um, we had uh, KCP, man. KCP, four for 11, but he started off great the first half and he slowed down, but that's all we needed. Dennis Shooter was... Just as impressive as Kuzma to me. Forget the numbers. His defense was phenomenal on De'Aaron Fox, like I said. The Dennis Struder has been playing really great defense uh, for this team. Uh, this team uh, is better with Struder than without Struder. But uh, he plays with a lot of heart, a lot of passion. you got to give it to him. Uh, I like the effort from the whole team. You know, coming out the mentality that I'm going to blow you off the court. Team held them to, uh, to 12 points. So 17, 8 assists, 4 steals. Uh, for Dennis, and then we had eight for Alex Caruso, who plays on solid defense as well. And My bad. Alex Caruso had eight points, not 15. Let's not forget he caught that body, and then 15 for my guy, THT. The, that's what I'm going to call him. THT with 15 points, very impressive. Uh, THT had a bad game last game, but I'm glad he bounced back with the 15 points. Now, just to annoy those people that were annoying me about Kyle Lowry, the traded one. The one they gave up on. I told you, what are you doing? Y'all acting like he's a like he's a toy in a happy meal, like a throw-in. No, not for 35-year-old Cal Lowry. Come on, man. You gotta be smart about these trades. You can't get And that and that that's big facts. We gotta be smart with our uh with our trading because uh teams teams are gonna try to uh get everything from us for us to get one player and we gotta be smart with uh who we're dealing with. And what we're giving up. There was no trolling. So, you know, the Lakers, they weathered the storm. And guess what? It paid off. Nobody said nothing when Andrew Bynum panned out. That's why we got to stay patient. Kyle Kuzma, I've been telling y'all for years, this kid was special. If he was on his own team, he'd be averaging over 20. People don't believe. And I've said that time and time again. A lot of people don't think Kyle Kuzma can average 25 or 30. If you put Kyle Kuzma on the team by himself, like, like, like Allen Iverson, He's going to get 25, 30 points. And that's a fact. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, he's not used to being a first option. He, he, I mean, I mean, I mean, my, my bad. I said it backwards. Kyle Kuzma is used to being a first option. He's not used to being a, a second, third option. He's not used to having to do other things, uh, rebound, defense. Uh, Kyle Kuzma is used to getting buckets. And Kyle Kuzma has had to change his role uh, playing with this team because Kyle Kuzma he wants to stay in L.A., and in order for him to stay in L.A., he, he ha, he's had to change his role. But you put him on a team by himself, he's getting 25-30. No, no doubt about it. All right. Look, look what happens when people when uh, uh, players get injured. Kuzma steps up, man. He was huge for us tonight. He's been huge for us, really. He hasn't had, I don't think he's had a bad game since LeBron went down. I, I, that's Cap That's Cap being like a fan. Kyle Kuzma has had a couple of games. Where he's had four points, six points, eight points. Kyle Kuma has had a few bad games. Let's not get too crazy. Kyle Kuma has had a few bad games uh, that could have. Uh, if Kyle Kuma had 30 uh, yesterday against the Bucks, we would have won. If Kyle Kuma had 30 against the Bucks, we would have definitely won. And that's a fact. Like every game he's been over 20, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe he had one. I forgot. But bottom line. Crazy, man. Crazy what the kid is capable of. The only and the way that the ball was moving tonight, the ball, move, the ball movement was sick tonight. Great ball movement, great defense, great team play. Uh, everybody played aggressive, and that's what you want to see if your team uh, is fighting hunger. As he buys into his rope. Denver Nuggets, he says, sub DTLF. I enjoyed that victory by your Lakers shot at the Kuzma. 
He said, love you, bro. I hope Kyle Kuzma remains a Laker for life. Will be something special. He's still young. Give him time, Laker Nation. Absolutely, bro. We locked him up. He's going to be here, man. His mom follows me on Twitter. Shout out to Carrie. Uh, absolutely phenomenal person. Uh, I follow her as well. Um, and Kuzma, man, he, he, he's making the city proud. But those of us day ones, we knew it. We knew it from the moment we laid eyes on Kuz, you know? It's almost when you you, you, you first go on a date and you see that girl and she... You said the NBA owners listen to you, Dan. <laughs> I doubt that. I just... They probably do listen to you. I know the way they operate, man. Throughout the history of time, let's go back. Let's go back to um, to um, basketball reasons. Come on, man. This man couldn't even give a reason to why he blocked the trade. So I'm not even going to go. Yeah, if we got CP3 uh, to to come to the Lakers, because CP3 wanted to play for the Lakers. If uh, Kobe and CP3 got on the same team, they would have had six rings, no question about it. I mean, you put you put the bat, you put the the greatest point guard of all time with a guy like uh, Kobe. Mm. Back, you know the man is dead. I'm gonna let him rest in peace. But R.P. to the Black Mamba. Just saying, like since then, I can tell the league hated us. Like it's crazy. Mike J, what's up, bro? He said, Dan, if Dennis leaves, what can we do at that point? Uh if Dennis Sturter leaves, nobody nobody's gonna care too much. But uh. We should not be thinking about uh, Dennis leaving. We should be thinking about focusing on uh, making the playoffs and, and trying to contend, contend for a championship. Um, well, I mean, we got to try to recruit other free agents. There's, there's not much we can do. I'm not sure how the cap works again if Dennis leaves. They're capable of actually competing every single night. We're deeper than what we've shown. We're, we are very deeper than what we've shown. Uh, there's a lot of guys we have not played on that bench. We have not played, uh, K-Cock, uh, K-Cock has not played, uh, that many games. Uh, Alfonso McKinney has not played many games. There's a, there's a lot of guys on that bench that we don't use or even play. Uh, so we're a very deep team. We just don't play a lot of guys in the rotation. And so, you know, we, we, we have not shown our hand. And I, I don't think we're going to show our hand anytime soon. I think we're going to keep, uh, playing down low. And just being secretive of who we got and all that stuff, uh, you know, come playoff time, uh, LeBron AD healthy, this team will look totally different. And uh, Andre Drummond will be out, I think, like one or two games. But I'm gonna I'm go ahead and say he might, you might miss a week with that toe contusion. Uh, you know, I would hold him out a week, let him rest, and see what the team can bring us with Montrez and all them guys. Uh, the Clippers lost the other day. And I'm very proud of that loss. Uh, I mean, the flippers. Uh, let's keep uh, grinding, doing our thing. Uh, you know, LeBron James is still working out uh, with his boot on. I hope he's not messing himself up. I hope LeBron come back soon with along with Anthony Davis. Uh, we got to keep playing hard as a team, as a group. Got to keep moving the ball, keep playing together. Uh, this is the best we've played in the last couple of games. Uh, we got a tough game come Sunday versus the Clippers. It's going to be very, uh, a very tough game with Kawhi and PG on the court. Uh, we've got to come to play, move the ball, play defense, play together, and keep playing team basketball, you know. And life, you know, life ain't always fair. So, you know, us playing the Clippers ain't fair, but we got to, got to go out there and just uh, fight, give her all, you know, and leave it at that. But uh, make sure you, make sure y'all uh, stay blessed, blessing on blessing, no stressing. You know, shout out to Big Bliss. Uh, the guy makes a lot of great content, a lot of great music. So, blessing on blessing, no stressing. Uh, I, I respect the guy a lot. You know what I'm saying? I know we've uh, had our issue, but blessing on blessing, no stressing. You know, uh, the uh, Lakers got to keep playing hard, keep doing our thing. Right, right, right now, we're, 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 still, we're still in the fourth spot. This win keeps us in the fourth spot. So, we've got to keep, uh, we gotta keep winning the games, supposed to win. And, you no, know, don't give up, don't quit. And keep fighting. A lot of people think we should tank. I said, no, we ain't taking. We're going to keep fighting. You know, shout out to Montrez and the whole group for playing big. You know, Marcus Saw has played better. The whole team has played great. Uh, you know, even even in some losses. You know, we're, we're still giving our all. We're still fighting. We're not quitting. And you got to respect that about our team. Is that our, our team is very resilient. You know what I'm saying? We never quit. We never stop. 
we give everything we got no matter what. And, you know, you know, when, when you're a team in the NBA, you never quit. Uh, you don't tame. None it's of that. Just, I do blame the coaching staff. You got to weather the storm. The players prepared because they're so used to just have- and, and And that's big facts. The coaching staff has to do a better job of making sure people are prepared uh, for games. You know, the so coach staff does not uh, tell Frank Vogel to call plays. Like, they got to make sure players are ready to play. You know what I'm saying? You can't just send players on the court and expect players to know what to do when they're on the court. You know what I'm saying? So, that's on the coach staff. It's on Frank Vogel as well. Taking the keys over to LeBron and AD and letting them go to work, man. <clears throat> what I want to see uh, for Mark Gasol, Mark Gasol needs to be on the block, on the post. Uh, Mark Gasol is too tall to be shooting these threes, mid-range jumpers. He needs to be in the post, in the paint, getting buckets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whoever the coaching staff is, you should be fired. Uh, there's no way in hell you got a big man of that caliber, uh, that height, and he's playing outside the paint. Uh, when I watched uh, Mark Gasol play for the Memphis Grizzlies, they used, to, they used to always throw the ball in the post to him and let him go to work. And uh, that's what I don't like about uh, Frank Vogel is that he does not do that. You know what I'm saying? He, he lets Mark Gasol facilitate and shoot threes. Like, that's not, that's not, that's, that's not, what, made, that's not what made him Mark Gasol. The thing that made him Mark Gasol is when he got the ball in the post in the paint and he went to work. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, Frank Vogel needs to do a better job of putting people in position to be successful because right now he's not doing that. Guys are playing out of pocket. Uh, T, uh, THT, uh, he's a guy that loves to use screens, but at the same time, sometimes he uh, does not use his screens uh, uh, properly, you know? So so the guy did a better job of, of making sure that he's using his screens properly. Uh, Ask Caruso. He needs to use screens properly. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you call for a screen, you can't be lazy to, to drive to the rack. If I call for a screen, I'm I'm supposed to run. I'm supposed to run downhill and try to get a buck. But, you know, a lot of guys are, are play lazy. You know what I'm saying? Lazy screens, lazy setups. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show a little bit of the Marcus post-ups. Hold on. Actually, I can't. But back to my point, uh, Marc Gasol is, is very capable of playing in the post, in the paint, and getting buckets. It's just it's just that the coach is not using him like that. You know what I'm saying? These guys are playing out of pocket. Like, K, uh, uh, KCP should not be dribbling the basketball. I'll, I'll run KCP off of screens all day long. I'm putting double screen, all of that for, for uh, KCP. Because KCP, KCP 